Hi everyone, I'm back in my studio and I wanted to welcome you to another session. This is Laura Pollock. I wanted to talk to you about failed paintings or let's say paintings where we've learned something but it didn't quite make it to the show. I have stacks of them and anyone that tells you that they don't is maybe sort of hiding the truth. So I'm going to give you a little lesson on what you can do with those. I've heard of people throwing them away, burning them, tearing them up. I don't do any of that. I'm really a conservationist. And I want to use these paintings to learn from and to practice on. This is the time where you can really make some big strides because there's no risk. You've already made your effort and now you can either wipe down everything that goes on it and reuse the board, which is what I'm going to show you, or you can wipe it down slightly and take some bold new steps. So let's take a look around my studio at the stacks of my failed paintings, and then I'll show you how you can recover them and use them for something else. So here you go. This is just one stack, several deep, in my studio of paintings that just are not going to see the light of day, at least not in their current form. I have several, several more. This is the one today that I'm going to wipe down and then wash down. This painting was done while out west after our IAPS excursion. And there are some things that work with it, but most things not. So let's see what happens when I take this painting and wipe it down. Here I am in my North Carolina backyard. It's lush and green. We've been having a lot of rain. Here's the painting. It's not too big. And I've pulled out a very, very old, nasty oil painting bristle brush. The reason it's bristle versus a nylon one is this is much stronger and it will take off the pastel dust much more easily. So all I'm gonna do is outside, so you're not really breathing all those fumes, is just start to wipe it off. It'll drift down into the grass. And you'll be able to then take this board, which I have mounted, as you've seen in some of my other videos, onto foam core. And if I choose, I can use the bones of this painting to repaint the exact same scene, or I can wash it down. And what I'll do is I'll end up getting a somewhat grayed undertone, which would be almost equivalent to an ampersand or a pastel matte. But this is UART 320, which is almost always what I paint on. And I'm just brushing it all down getting as much of the dust off as I can so that when I do take alcohol to it, it will not clog up the grit on the sandpaper because I still want to be able to layer as much as possible. And I'll spank it a little bit, have most of it come off. And then I'll take my alcohol with a softer brush and wash it down. If I want to, I can retint the whole thing to get a completely different background. Or I can even use the ghosted image to go back and repaint the exact same scene. Sometimes those ghosted images put out of focus what you had put so much detail into, and you actually get something much better. So I'm gonna just finish this off and then I'll show you how I do a little alcohol wash on it and what I get. I'm not gonna try for the same scene on this one because I think that uh, I can do something a little bit better and a little bit different. So I've gone back into the studio and I've gotten a softer nylon brush. I'm gonna sort of tap out some of the extra dust. Pull over the painting, which is now totally washed down and use just a jar of alcohol. I don't care which type of alcohol, I'm not really fussy on that, and I'm just gonna wash it on down, see what I get. 
go every which way. There's no rhyme or reason here. And I get to be very messy, just like a little three-year-old here. And just cover the whole thing and wash it on down. So here's the fully washed down, blended in board, and it has plenty of tooth. I can do another painting on it. It's got an absolutely gorgeous warm tone to it, which would make a beautiful underpainting for most anything. So here you have it. Don't throw them away. Don't rip them up. Wash them down and use them again. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little bitty video on how to conserve, reuse, repurpose a painting where you may have learned something, but it's just not quite what you wanted. Anyway, in the very near future, hopefully the next few days, I will be posting opportunities for learning between classes, workshops, and mentorships. Please let me know if you're interested in any of these as I will add you to my list. They will be small groups with a lot of personal attention. Thanks again for joining me and I'll see you soon.